Okay, so apparently Arxis thought it was a great idea to release the starter guide to Testament at f before I am. Oh, it's supposed to curse. It's fine. Um, <laughs> what up, everybody? It's your boy, the Imp of the Dragon here, and we're going to be looking at Testament's starter guide. Uh, Testament has so far has been the only character that I've been interested in playing uh, in terms of DLC. Um, and by that, I mean, like, I, I thought Biking was cool, and I thought Golden Lewis was cool, but those weren't characters that I thought I would play. I just thought they were cool, uh, and I was happy for those people who did end up playing them. Happy Chaos also looks really cool, but, um, not for me, you know? Testament looks like a character that I would play, so I'm interested in seeing what they, uh, what they have now. Also, they're not binary now, which is really cool. Um, I know that kind of stuff is, like, not as prevalent in, in Japan, so it's really cool to see some kind of, uh, non-binary non representation there so um yeah so let's get started see what they got spray it down testament excels in the mid-range yeah with a variety of projectiles testament kind of looks like has like some v vibes like v from devil may cry Stain. Stain. Certain moves put the opponent into stain state. Oh, that's what the follow-up attack will occur when you hit the opponent with certain moves while they are in stain state. Okay, so they just gotta hold that then. a combo after the follow-up attack hits, or maintain your offense when blocked. Use this opportunity to go on the offense. So basically, I'll I'll, I'll re rewind it and break it down. But basically, that was like hold this. With their side, sending out a projectile. The slash version sends the projectile forward, while the heavy slash version moves at a diagonal. Interesting. So that's a little, it's a space a control. And combos into the projectile on him. Interesting. The properties of the projectile change if you hold down the button for each version. Interesting. Such as increasing the active frames of the projectile so that's that'll take care of a lot of ground movement into a succubus and remains for a short while before disappearing unholy diver holy diver familiar flies forward this move puts the opponent in stain state on hit or block interesting if the projectile from grave reaper is on screen the crow flies towards that position. Watch for the position. Okay, so it's a it's a homing if you have the the succubus out. That's okay. That's wild. Testament vanishes and reappears in the position of the projectile from Grave Reaper. That's kind of cool. That this is why I want to play this character. If the projectile is not on screen. Testament will also reappear in their initial position when the button is held down. Okay, so you have pump fix too. That's crazy. Can be used either for movement or as a feint. Arbiter sign. An attack that tracks to the opponent's position to an extent. The slash version is a low. And the heavy slash version is is an overhead. These inputs so far are just quarter circles. This move works well to mix up a blocking opponent. However, be aware that it cannot track the opponent from too close or too far a distance. Okay. Nostrum so really stay peak keep him in the mid-range. A succubus who performs multiple powerful attacks. This move has quick recovery, creating an opportunity to approach together with the succubus. Oh, I was like, that didn't do any damage. What are you using that for? It's a mix-up. Hold this and block this mix-up, young blood. And combo after it? All right, yeah, okay, so that's a combo super. Testament summons a massive beast, unleashing an extremely powerful attack. All right, that's your combo ender super when you got him against the wall. Invincibility as the attack comes out. Making it work well in combos or for interrupting the opponent's offense. Okay, so this is the one you want to use for. Far standing okay. slash and the slash version of Grave Reaper dominate the grounded neutral game. Moves such as forward heavy slash and the heavy slash version of Grave Reaper cover a large area upwards, 
Once you've prevented the opponent's approach, take the chance to go on the offensive with the succubus summoned by Grave Reaper. You can land a surprise attack using possession. Oh, oh shit, hold on. Hold on. What was that? Okay. I said I wasn't going to I wasn't gonna do that, but until I was gonna just watch it again. But hold on. That was cold as fuck. So he got the hit. You can land Um and because the little succubus is out, after he did the uh uh the the move that sends the succubus out and the, the crow move comes in and juggles them for him it's and then he keep his combo going. Attack using possession. Or put the opponent in stain state by hitting them with unholy dire. While the opponent is in stain state, you can gain the advantage just by connecting the far edge of your pokes with the opponent. Keep the opponent under fighting your Okay, is this mid range bigger than uh bigger than take control of the field by combining it looks like yes with long range normals. Stain. Okay, now I'm confused on what I'm confused on what stain state does. Stain state. A follow-up attack will occur when you hit the opponent with certain moves. But what is what is a certain move? This is what I didn't understand. Let me do it one more time because I'm again I'm tired. Moves put the opponent into stain state. A follow-up attack will occur when you hit the opponent with certain moves while they are in. So they got the glowy, and when they have the glowy. Go into a combo. After the follow-up attack hits, or maintain... So was the second attack... Go into a combo... Was the second attack that the pink glow that he had? I don't think I can go frame by frame. Yeah, okay, there it is. This pink glow that he has, is that him doing the follow-up attack? After the follow-up attack hits, or maintain your offense when blocked. Use this opportunity to go on the offense. Okay, no, it does it automatically, too. Okay, so it is the pink shit. Grave Reaper. Testament strikes forward with their scythe, sending out a That's a really long for, for, that like that the full screen length and it goes like three quarters screen. It's a big ass projectile. Well, the and then like slash version moves at a And that goes pretty high in the air. The scythe strike also has a hitbox and combos into the projectile on him. The properties of the projectile change if you hold down the button for each version, such as Increasing the active frames of the projectile. That's a really good move because that that way they have you have to if they're approaching you They have to hold that they have to go go in for an area approach or just sit there uh, Which is great for zoning and if you really wanted to timing out I don't really see too many timeouts on uh, Anime fighters though succubus and remains for a short while before disappearing Unholy diver Testament's crow familiar flies forward this move puts the opponent in stain state on hit or block. And then it tracks if the succubus is out. Is on screen, the crow flies towards that position. Watch for the positioning of the opponent and the projectile when going for this move. Possession. Testament vanishes and reappears in the position of the projectile from Grave Reaper. Testament that is so cool. I'm going to be using that mostly. <laughs> if the projectile is not on screen. Test teleport characters are the coolest Testament to me. Will also reappear in their initial position. That's the reason why I played Nagoriyuki because he had like the teleport dash, but this is actual teleport, so used either for movement or as a feint. Arbiter sign. An attack that tracks to the opponent's position to an extent. The slash that, I mean, as long as you're not doing it, like, a character away, you should be good. Is an this move works well to mix I'm, I'm sorry, no characters away. <laughs> you can't be, like, kissing them and then do that move. Oh, no, I care about a character away. It's, uh... Nostrovia. Nostrovia. I wonder how this is, how the matchup between Potemkin's gonna be, because Potemkin's... And the slash version of Grave Reaper. Dominate the grounded neutral game. I think Potemkin's range is a, about the same for his longer uh, range normals as Testament. So I wonder what that mis what that uh, matchup is going to look like. I wonder what the matchup between uh, Gold Lewis is going to be like. Okay, so that, that's a meaty if you if you do it correctly. The, the uh, blood projectile. Or put the opponent that looks really hard to block. <laughs> oh, let's look at that. Yeah, that, that looks like impossible to block. Hold on. 
and the heavy slash version of Grave Reaper cover a large area upwards. Okay. Damn. Uh, no, it wasn't your turn yet, bitch. Approach. Take the chance to go on the offensive with the succubus summoned by Grave Reaper. Okay, yeah, just guess correctly, bitch. And a surprise attack using possession. Or put the opponent in stains. Okay, he's got built in 50-50s. With unholy diver. While the opponent is in stained state, you can gain the advantage just by connecting the far edge of your pokes with the opponent. Keep the opponent under pressure. And under pressure. You can to take the advantage. She didn't have that many super. I mean, that's about that's a that's a normal amount of uh, normal amount of specials. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm excited to play Testament. Testament looks cool. Um, again, this is the only character that I've seen that uh, that I, I'm actually like, oh, I want to play this character. Uh, mid range characters do that for me. So um, yeah, let me go, let me get let me know what you guys think in the comments of uh, how Testament looks. Uh, are you gonna play him? Is this is this are you still waiting for your DLC character? I'm still waiting for Slayer to be honest. Um, if he even gets in the game, he might he might come in the game. I think he is. I think he's a good chance of being in the game now that we have Nagoriyuki in here. So. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I do play this game every once in a while. If you guys want to know when I'm streaming uh, and when I play this game, uh, the link to the Discord is in the uh, description down below. As well as, you know, hit the like button for your boy. It's free. Did you know it's free? Subscribe, you know, all that for new content. Um, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot recently, so if you guys like Yu-Gi-Oh!, you should check out the stream for that too. Uh, I'll be streaming later today too when you guys see this video, so be sure to check out that out. Alright, that's enough shilling. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.